miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, low 77. Winds east-northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. The wildest weather ever caught on camera. Oh my God. Tonight, tomorrow night. Every weeknight, wild weather at 8 on the Weather Channel. Welcome back. Typhoon Fong Fong is beginning to impact Japan. Power outages on Kadena, the U.S. air base, where tens of thousands of Americans are stationed. In just a moment, we're going to have our experts breaking down everything you need to know about this storm's threat. But first, storm chaser James Reynolds followed the path of Vong Vong all the way to Guam. He's now in Okinawa in the city of Naha, and he's already seeing the effects of the typhoon. I took quite a long uh, route to get to Okinawa. I was originally in Guam uh, two days ago trying to uh, film uh, Typhoon Vong Fong as it passed through the Marianas Islands. And then I really had to uh, race uh, to Okinawa as, as quickly as possible to try and catch it a second time. And that was via Hong Kong, to, uh, which is where I'm based, to basically charge all my batteries, change, change all my clothes, and then get to Okinawa to try and catch the storm a second time. I ventured up to the extreme north northern coast of Okinawa today. It's a very rocky uh, area, very uh, large cliffs up there. Uh, and we really had very, very strong winds ripping uh, off the Pacific Ocean and these big waves crashing into the cliffs, a lot of spray flying through the air. And what struck me as being really surprising was, we, you know, we're still over 24 hours away from this storm potentially making landfall. So to see these uh, strong waves and uh, strong winds and, and, and huge waves so uh, early, uh, uh, it was really quite a surprise to me. I haven't seen uh, directly any power outages myself, but as I was driving uh, back to Naha, which is the most populated city on Okinawa after dark, I could see uh, at least two power flashes, which suggests that the, the winds are strong enough now to uh, start causing damage to the power infrastructure. From the local observations I've seen from the Japanese uh, meteorological agency, uh, Naha Airport has uh, seen gusts already over hurricane force uh, and sustained at uh, around 45 miles an hour. So uh, I'm really, again, uh, we're over 24 hours from a possible landfall of the storm. So to, to see winds gusting over hurricane force is really quite remarkable. The infrastructure here, the locals are very used to typhoons. This area gets hit uh, repeatedly every year. Uh, but I've seen uh, certainly gas stations have been uh, securing their awnings and, and uh, making sure that they're keeping their assets safe before the storm hits. Uh, and people, uh, you know, stocking up on supplies, uh, you know, food and water and those kind of things uh, before the storm hits, you know, because it could be, uh, we could be in for a very long uh, and rough ride with this storm, given how slowly it's moving right now. And really what's been so surprising for me, having been through many typhoons, is really how large the wind field of this typhoon is. Uh, I can't remember ever seeing winds so strong uh, over 24 hours prior to a typhoon making landfall as I saw today. Uh, so it really suggests that Okinawa is going to be in for a long and rough ride over the next uh, 48 hours. So big waves already coming on shore in Okinawa, but what else can we expect from this typhoon, Fong Fong, as it gets closer to Japan? Reynolds Wolf is with our expert panel with the answers to all of your questions. Reynolds. Thanks, Viv. Let's talk about that expert panel for a moment. They're an all-star team. I mean, come on, you got Brian Norcross, you've got Mike Lowry, you've got Greg Postel. Uh, Brian, if we can, let's let's speak with you first about just the, the, the size and duration of this system. Yeah, James Reynolds said it, this is a um, much bigger and slower system than we're used to here. We thought that people that went through Sandy or other hurricanes thought oh, it just lasted forever. That was nothing compared to what's going to happen there because the wind is going to blow. Look at the satellite picture there and you can see the size of the circulation. Now what happened is one of those bands, those outer bands went through, made the winds gust up to over hurricane force. Now they've actually come down and they're in the 30, 40, 50 mile an hour range mm -hmm. there now. But uh, if we go back to the satellite, you're going to see when we put the wind streams 
on there, how monstrous this circulation is. Now, watch as it, uh, look at that there. See, that it's dominating that entire part of the okay. world. So it's about 300 miles across the area where uh, hurricane force gusts will occur. That's the, the prediction. Top winds now near the center, about 130 miles per hour. It's going to slowly weaken, but still, the, the peak of this looks like it's going to be tomorrow morning uh, U.S. time as the, the center comes the closest it's going to come to Okinawa. And it may go right over the island. It's, uh, it's uh, hard to say. But in any case, this tremendously long duration of very strong winds. Now, now you mentioned weakening. Now, e even if this were to, to weaken a little bit, Mike Lowry, we're going to bring you in for a moment. In terms of, of flooding, in terms of storm surge, what, what do you think we're going to get out of this? Well, look, here in the United States, we're used to the coastal flooding, the primary coastal flooding being from storm surge. Not so much the case out there in the Western Pacific. And the reason for that is that the uh, coast there is rocky. It's a lot rockier than it is, than it is here in the United States. And so the uh, ocean floor comes up very, very quickly. That produces those very tall, very high waves. But Reynolds, good part of that is that it generally doesn't cause the type of flooding that you would expect from a very uh, high or very strong storm surge. So really, I mean, they get waves there all the time. This is something that, look, don't you don't want to be near the coast. But uh, otherwise, we're not expecting tremendous or extensive coastal flooding. Yeah, uh, well, that, well this is such, a, such a big threat. This is such a big system. And we've tackled those two things. But when it comes to winds, let's bring in Dr. Postel. What are you thinking with this? Despite the possible weakening of this, yeah. it's still going to pose a big threat to, to a lot of people? Yeah, I mean, the remnants of Vong Fong are going to live on long past uh, its passage over Okinawa. And the question is, is it going to have impacts globally thereafter? You know, sometimes tropical cyclones in the West Pacific, they can move northward into the jet stream, get picked up by the jet stream, and make it do some weird things down the road a couple days thereafter. So here's a satellite picture right now of where Vong Fong is. And you can see a pattern of high clouds. See that those white streamers moving kind of east northeastward away from Vong Fong. That's already the outflow from at high altitudes, about 30,000 feet, maybe higher, streaming away from Vong Fong, getting caught up in the jet stream, and you know where it's going from there. It's going toward North America. So what, what it's doing right now, you can actually see it in front of your eyes. It's strengthening the jet stream, and sometimes those strengths, uh, those enhancements in the jet stream can lead to some really weird patterns over North America. And we're seeing some of that now, and the question is, is what Vong Fong is doing now and in its interaction with the jet stream going to be impacting our weather, not just now, but perhaps over the next couple of days and maybe be involved with some severe weather in the United States? Well, that kind of a connection, you can't make that one-to-one -one correlation. There's probably some role, but we'll just have to wait and see. And probably some studies after the fact will determine exactly how much of a role it did have. Brian, I have to ask you, how unusual is the season in the Pacific we're seeing? Uh, not tremendously uh, mm -hmm. unusual. The fact that we've had two typhoons follow one another is a little bit unusual, but it happens with hurricanes. Mm -hmm. It happens with typhoons. And by the way, you, you can see there, this is the, the number of, of storms. You can see it frequently happens on the island, as James Reynolds said. They really are ready for strong winds there, the way everything is built. They have the really bunkers that everybody goes into. So you wouldn't expect a, a lot of loss of life, but you can't have winds of this duration, of this strength, over 100 miles an hour, probably at least up into the Category 3 range for an extended period of time without having damage. You just, you just can't have that. My goodness. Well, the island is a fortress and it's certainly going to be tested over the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. 48 hours, oh, yeah. My Reynolds, goodness. this is a place, uh, 2012, they had three typhoons mm -hmm. that impacted them. So right. like Brian was saying, uh, this is a bad one and, and hopefully it stays away. Uh, or at least it doesn't come as close as some of our computer models are showing, but it's not that unusual. Yeah. I see. I'd if any, say if you're if interested, any place is ready, this is it. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. I'd say if you're interested in studying tropical cyclones, maybe that's a great home base for you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Gentlemen, I can't thank you enough for your time. And of course, I'm sure we're going to be back with you through the afternoon and, and possibly uh, through uh, possibly part of next week. Again, uh, Vivian, let's send it right back to you. All right. Thanks, guys. What an interesting discussion. And that kind of stuff you can only get right here on the Weather Channel. Meanwhile, one high school football team claims a victory over Mother Nature. Coming up, this week's Friday Night Lightning tells us how how the weather almost crushed the championship dreams. We'll be back. Currently in our area, 84 degrees under mostly cloudy skies.
Today, plenty of sunshine. High 84. Winds east-northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, low 77. Winds east-northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Daddy, this is Blair. He booked this room with Priceline Express deals and saved a ton. I got everything I wanted. I always do. You seem nice. Why do you want to shop at Walmart now for October's hottest items? Because you need to find happiness on rollback. In every aisle. Get thousands of items. Now on rollback. Save money. Live better. Walmart. Don't let a severe cold hold you back. Sir? Theraflu starts to get to work in your body in just five minutes. Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu, serious power. Zantac heartburn alert. Stop. Nexium can take 24 hours to work. Zantac's different. Zantac rushes relief in as little as 30 minutes. For relief without the wait, try Zantac. No pill relieves heartburn faster. Andrew. Rita. Sandy. Meet Chris. Jackie. Joe. Minor damage or major disaster. When you need us most, we're there. State Farm. We're a force of nature, too. Let's do a reality check. Kids will be kids. Dogs will be dogs. So let's get some paint that's more than just paint. Made to stand up to this and look beautiful for years. Let's lose the old marks and messes and stop new ones in their tracks. Let's worry-proof our walls. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Bear Premium Plus with easy clean finish starting at $25.97 a gallon. You may not be a prepper now, but you will be. Whether the next disaster is man-made or wrought by Mother Nature, you need a plan. WiseFoodStorage.com's emergency gourmet meals are made in the USA, delicious, easy to prepare, just add water, and packaged and proportioned perfectly, eliminating waste and creating a shelf life of up to 25 years. Why face your next emergency on an empty stomach? Request your free sample today at WiseFoodStorage.com. Eligible for Medicare, that's a good thing. But it doesn't cover everything. Only about 80% of your Part B medical expenses. The rest is up to you. So consider an AARP Medicare Supplement Insurance Plan, insured by United Healthcare Insurance Company. Like all standardized Medicare Supplement Insurance Plans, they could save you in out-of-pocket medical costs. Call today to request a free decision guide. With these types of plans, you'll be able to visit any doctor or hospital that accepts Medicare patients. Plus, there are no networks and virtually no referrals needed. Join the millions who have already enrolled in the only Medicare supplement insurance plans endorsed by AARP and provided by United Healthcare Insurance Company, which has over 30 years of experience behind it. With all the good years ahead, look for the experience and commitment to go the distance with you. Call now to request your free decision guide. It brings generations of Americans together, connecting us to our community as no other tradition can. When the stadium lights go on, Main Street shuts down. It's more than high school football. Your team, your town, your forecast. 12 towns in 12 weeks. It's time for Friday Night Lightning. West Branch, Iowa. 
It's a town of just 2,300 people, and it's also the birthplace of President Herbert Hoover. It's also a community that loves its high school football, and you'll find there a program steeped in tradition. Here's Jim Cantori with the story. On Friday nights, when the sun goes down and storm clouds roll in, weather and football collide. As teams battle each other and Mother Nature. But from adversity comes heroes, like the Bears of West Branch, Iowa. During this 1989 playoff game in conditions so miserable, so cold, it even iced over the camera lens. The Bears overcame rival Montezuma and the weather to keep their fabled run to a state championship alive. And once we got close, we knew, you know, we weren't going to let that out of our grasp. And so goes the story of West Branch, a hidden gem surrounded by Iowa's vast cornfields with a tough, gritty football tradition that mirrors this small farming community. I just think it's the tradition that we've had and they don't want to let anybody down. A proud town with three claims to fame, the birthplace and burial site of President Herbert Hoover. Bears football for more than a century. and Iowa's real field of dreams. It's like there's nothing else in town but this field. The simple yet almost sacred field in the heart of West Branch is fondly called the Little Rose Bowl, a natural gridiron amphitheater that residents dredged out in the early 1900s. This field has been special forever and ever. It kind of makes a close-knit uh, community of a small town. And even when a new stadium was built on the school's campus, residents fought to keep the Bears right here on Friday nights. West Branch football is pure Americana. And so is one of its most treasured traditions, the walk. When leading up to home games, cheerleaders and the team march hand in hand down Oliphant Street to the field. When you hear those cleats coming down the street, if that doesn't get to you, you probably don't belong here. You probably should go somewhere else. The community lined up on either side to watch. It's a rush of pride because you know they are looking at you as being the pride of the town. It never gets old. An experience that lasts a lifetime. Really, it takes a few years to really step back and grasp and understand what exactly it is that you've been a part of. When I'll be an adult um, is when it'll really kick in and really realize how lucky I was to be a part of this school and everything. The Bears and West Branch, resilient when challenged by the weather and even change. One, two, three, seven, eight. Forever bonded by the lights of Friday night. What a great tradition and a wonderful community. All right, folks, take a look at what they can expect weather-wise for the West Branch High School Bears and the uh, Wellapo High School Indians. It looks like 55 degrees, and it's going to be feeling kind of breezy. Wind north, northeast at 6 under mostly cloudy skies. Vivian, back to you. All right, thanks, Reynolds. Well, looking toward the weekend, I know you are. If you're in L.A. or New York, check out current conditions in both cities. L.A., it is sunny right now. We had a few clouds this morning, that marine layer. It's 69 degrees degrees in LA. It's much cooler though in New York City, even though we still have lots of sunshine only in the 50s. Now here's a look at the forecast. Unfortunately, the sunshine will give way to clouds and eventually rain in New York City tomorrow. So starting off your weekend on a wet note, anywhere from Boston down to the mid-Atlantic and kind of draped back over parts of the Tennessee Valley looking at rain. A great Saturday though over the Great Lakes and much of the upper Midwest, the Intermountain region. A little bit of light rain in Seattle perhaps perhaps tomorrow with temperatures in the middle 60s. Here is a look at Sunday though. Sunday your better day in Seattle, San Francisco looking good 83 and actually Sunday it'll clear out in New York City. We're looking at a high of only 62 degrees though. So a little fallish feel in the air for sure. Back to you Reynolds. Okay Vivian thanks so much. Well two major storms are threatening millions of people in the Indian and Pacific Oceans including a U.S. military base. Up next we'll show you how massive these storms are looking and when and when where we can expect them to hit. It can be amazing out there, folks. Plus, we're going to show you some beautiful pictures from this week. I was out for a bike ride. I didn't think I'd have a heart attack, but I did. I'm Mike. And I'm very much alive. Now my doctor recommends a Bayer aspirin regimen to help prevent another heart attack. Be sure to talk to your doctor before you begin an aspirin regimen. Surprise! You're having triplets. Surprise! 
Your house was built on an ancient burial ground. Surprise! Your car needs a new transmission. How about no more surprises? Now you can get all the online trading tools you need without any surprise fees. It's not rocket science, it's just common sense. From TD Ameritrade. Sunday nights. channel unravels nature's darkest secrets. I saw something. I don't know how to explain it. Every Sunday. It's a story that's got a life of its own. A new tale of weather legend. It may have just looked like a storm, but they were dealing with something far worse. American Supernatural. Sunday nights at 10 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 84 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, plenty of sunshine. High 84, winds east-northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, low 77, winds east-northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. our new turkey cranberry flatbread before we craft it into a sandwich. The amazingly tender roasted turkey, always raised without antibiotics. The zesty cranberry mustarda. The freshly baked flatbread. But here's what you don't always see. The care and attention that goes into it. Because what matters most is the simple delicious ingredients that make up the whole delicious meal made just for you. And this is our turkey cranberry flatbread sandwich paired perfectly with our autumn squash soup. Only at Panera Bread. Cool down with an iced coffee from Panera Bread. There. Hello. Hot stuff. <laughs> not turning the thermostat down. That's not what I was doing. I was just having fun. Come here. Nice and tight. Had a girl. Hey, there's a sweet spot. Oh, hold on. Hold on. This is not what that came that didn't happen in practice. There is a better way. Mitsubishi Electric Systems give you the temperature you want in any room with no duct work and lower energy bills. Mitsubishi Electric Cooling and Heating. Live better. Go to MitsubishiComfort.com. How do we get a little fun in the sun for free? I stayed one time. We stayed another time. And now we're all staying one night free. Great endings begin here. Right now, when you book at any of these Choice Hotels and take two separate trips, you earn one night free. Book now at ChoiceHotels.com. Gorilla Tape, of course. Gorilla Tape's double-thick adhesive grips rough and uneven surfaces for a strong, weather-resistant hold for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. Sign up today for AutoZone Rewards and earn store credit that'll come in handy. For your next project, spend $20 or more five times and earn $20 store credit. Visit AutoZone.com slash rewards. Away. is the smell of salt in the air. It's the sound a seashell makes. Away is a place that's beyond your imagination. When it comes to finding a cure for breast cancer, I'm all business. That's why I support QVC Presents Fanny Shoes on Sale. You should too. Shop beautiful shoes, including styles from my own collection at half the manufacturer's suggested retail price. Helping others is everybody's business. Tune in Thursday, October 16th at 6 p.m. Eastern, only on QVC. The Treasure Coast is a special part of Florida. It's why people retire here. It's why Bob and I moved here to raise our daughter, and I believe it needs to be protected. That's why I've worked hard to find funding to clean up the Indian River Lagoon and Loxahatchee. 
and it's why I voted to cut taxes and fees for our seniors and small businesses. Our community is worth fighting for, and I am just getting started. 50% with five screenings for $149. Call now at 800-393-7147. 7 a.m. on AMHQ. Let's get you in front of today's weather. The biggest weather hour anywhere. What a gorgeous start. Weekday mornings on the Weather Channel. Well, we are seeing and I guess feeling the early effects of a monster storm heading for Japan. This is Typhoon Van Fong, and you can see the palm trees that are blowing in the winds as they pick up. Those things may be bending over by the time this storm makes full impact. We're expecting 100 20 mile per hour winds, and as you might imagine, Vivian, plenty of rain. Oh, yeah. Welcome back now. 50 past the hour. Time for the tropical update. That's right, and there's plenty to update. Dr. Greg Postel is back in the lab. So, Dr. Greg, uh, help us catch up. Where are we starting? <laughs> yeah, you know, this. Uh, I think this thing will weaken a little bit more by the time it gets into Okinawa, uh, probably tomorrow morning, Eastern Time. Let's have a look at the latest advisory from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. 130 mile per hour in the wind speed, estimated from satellites. This thing is moving north. It's about 200 miles away from Okinawa, which, by the way, uh, has um, Kadena Air Force Base on it, which is home to 35,000 uh, U.S. servicemen and women there. So we have some interest here in the U.S. for what's going on in this part of the world. And right now, the circulation center is there. And that's a long way from Okinawa and Kadena Air Force Base in particular. But still, they are seeing wind gusts over 60, 63 miles per hour in the wind gust, 47 sustained wind. So they're getting tropical storm force conditions right now, and they're going to get a lot worse than that, I can tell you that. They'll probably have wind gusts over 100 miles per hour, my thinking is, tomorrow morning. You can see on the radar, there's Okinawa right in here. This is on the uh, Okinawa prefecture, the southern island chain of Japan, extending pretty far south away from there. But here are the rain bands. Some of the big ones, big rain bands from Vongfang are about ready to get into Okinawa. And when they do, I think they'll have wind gusts over hurricane force that would be 75 miles per hour plus. That's what I think is going to happen. So it's going to be rainy and windy there. They know how to handle these pretty well, but you know what? It's been a while since they've had actually a real direct impact or uh, basically the eye is going to go right over them. So it's been a while since they've had this bad a storm get this close. And here, look, tomorrow morning, Eastern time. This is where the center of circulation is. That's I think the eye may very well go right overhead. So we should get some really cool video if they could just turn their camera up and look straight up uh, once they're in the eye where the air is relatively calm. The sky is relatively clear. But the problem is you got to take cover because the worst part of it is right around that eye. That's where those 100 mile per hour wind gusts will be likely and of course there'll be a lot of heavy rain. And then there it goes. It should move on off toward the north Vong Vong and then get into Japan probably over the weekend our time and bring with it some huge waves. Look at this 30 plus feet. Now that's just a significant wave height which means the top third of the waves are probably 30 plus feet. And so if you think maybe the top 2% of the waves are going to be even bigger than that. Maybe 50, 60 feet out there. So not a good place to go kayaking out there, certainly. But if you look at the forecast for rainfall out here in Japan, it doesn't just end in Okinawa. It's going to bring a lot of rain in Japan and then maybe even influence our weather here in North America a few days after that. Guys, back to you. How frightening to see that unfold. Mm -hmm. now, you know, sometimes here at the Weather Channel, we have this great phrase, it's amazing out there. We, we say that all the time, especially mm -hmm. when we have some amazing weather images to share with you. And that's right. It is time now <laughs> to share some of those pictures. In fact, our top five photos. Number five, this view of Typhoon Fong Fong taking, taken from the International Space Station. Now, the powerful typhoon is headed toward Japan right now. And we'll have the latest all day today on the Weather Channel. And next up, we've got this tornado picture. This is from the great state of Kentucky, the bluegrass region. This photo was tweeted out by the National Weather Service in Louisville. Nine confirmed tornadoes touched down in the state this week. Most were in the EF1 range between, well, he had winds anywhere from 100 to 110 miles per hour. Our number three picture, this amazing shot of the northern lights comes to us from Iceland. Very nice. Beautiful picture. Right. And we got a beautiful sunshine uh, to follow that up. The sunrise along the Missouri River. This is up in North Dakota. And another reminder that winter is just on on the way, just around the corner, this is from the observatory on top of Mount Washington in Vermont. This ice coating is also known as rhyme. And that little face there looks like a little face, doesn't it? A, a smiley happy face. face yeah. Which I can't imagine why he's that happy with that kind of cold. <laughs> All right, folks, no. got more coming up. Here's how you can contribute <laughs> your, fo your photos. Enjoy.
currently in our area, 84 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, plenty of sunshine. High 84, winds east-northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, low 77. Winds east-northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. A massive typhoon threatens thousands of Americans in Okinawa. Straight ahead, the expert analysis you can only get here on the Weather Channel as the U.S. Air Base prepares for major impact and why rain could be the biggest problem. And back in the States, it's rain and hail making a mess. Parts of Kansas getting slammed. You're looking at some of these same impacts for the rest of the country as the system trudges east. And as windshield wipers do their work, at least gas prices are on the way down. Reagan Meggie's live in Atlanta. Gas prices here in Atlanta and throughout the country are dropping and they will continue to do so. Where and by how much? I'm Reagan Medjo. I'll have a live report. Weather Center Live starts right now. Well, already seeing and even feeling the effects mm -hmm. of this typhoon. Thanks for watching. I'm Reynolds Wolf. And I'm Vivian Brown. Kadena Air Base on Okinawa is urging surface members to prepare for super typhoon Fong Fong. Not a super typhoon anymore, but still, those winds are pretty strong. It's a beast, Vivian. Mm -hmm. You're right about that. I mean, you take a look at the typhoon's track. Kadena is forecasted to take a direct hit, Vivian. Mm -hmm. In fact, we've already gotten reports of power outages. So let's head out to our hurricane specialist, <laughs> Dr. Greg Postel, to tell us more about this pretty powerful system. Yeah, and it's really powerful. I mean, 120 mile per hour, 130 miles per hour in the wind speed estimated from satellites, about 200 miles away from Okinawa, which is where, again, we have military base there on Kadena Air Force Base, home to 35,000 plus uh, servicemen and women there. So this is a big story for us, and it's going to get real bad there. The worst of it probably tomorrow morning, our time. So in about 20 hours or so. There's where the center of circulation is. Let me zoom in here and let me show you what we've got going on there. There's where the center of Vongfong is, and there is Okinawa, which which is in the Okinawa Prefecture, Southern Island chain of Japan, where they've got now sustained winds of 45 miles per hour. They've been gusting up to close to 80 at times. Um, but you know what? The center of the storm is way down here. So you can see as these rain bands come in, it is going to get a lot worse. So stay tuned for all that. We'll have all the latest. Here's a, actually, this is great. I love this because pretty soon the sun's going to come out and you're going to start to see images like this. This is at Naha at the International Airport there. What I've seen lately is everything's pretty much upright. You know, there's nothing flying around here, no objects that I can see. Every once in a while I can see some rain bands moving through uh, in the light. And I've seen some cars move by. So right now, steady as she goes, everything's okay for now. Uh, sustained again in the upper 40s, gust to about 65. And But it is going to get worse because you can see that as we move through time overnight tonight and tomorrow, the center of circulation will be right about there. And uh, that's when the worst will be, about 8 or 9 o'clock Eastern time. Then things will gradually improve during the day tomorrow, guys. Then this story turns to Japan, and then maybe this will have some impacts in North American weather. Stay tuned for all that. I'll have that coming up. Guys, back to you. Vivian. Uh, all right. Thanks very much, Dr. Postel. And, of course, we'll keep you updated on the tropics. Meanwhile, hailstones pounded the Plain State. Check out this video from Boise City, Oklahoma. Mainly pea-sized hail reported here, but in other parts of the state and over the panhandle, we had reports of golf ball-sized hailstones. So major concerns with a big storm system that's moving through the the heart of the country, producing more rain and storms like we just saw. In fact, we're looking out in Vanderbilt University. This is a picture of the library, and you see a few people heading in. We've had on and off rain in the Nashville area so far today, and it looks as though as we head into the weekend, still looking at the stormy conditions. And that could lead to flooding even and the gusty storms across the region. So let's show you what we've had already. Speaking of flooding, take a look now. Over the last 24 
24 hours from western and central Missouri back into eastern Kansas. We've had upwards seven and a half, almost eight inches here in southeastern Kansas. So major concerns with a heavy rain uh, moving through and then another batch of heavy rain and then another batch of heavy rain. We've just had waves of the uh, flooding issues across this area. Now flood watches remain in effect. Actually they extend all the way into the western parts of Tennessee back into southeastern Kansas and rightfully so because again we've had so much rain and grounds are saturated across the region and you do see that much of the state of Missouri is under a flood watch right now including St. Louis. Now here's a look at the current radar because we do have a stationary front. It's not moving much and that means it's just a focal point for more showers and storms throughout the afternoon right on into the weekend. Again Nashville you've been in and out of some of the rain some of the heaviest on the south side of the city right now but look off to the north and west just a heavier batch that's skirting right across the southern parts of Missouri kind of riding along the border of Missouri and northern Arkansas so one wave pushing off to the east and another just right on its heels here's a closer inspection of Nashville again heavier rain off to the east and to the south of the city and even to the west so just keep your umbrella handy for sure in the Nashville area so here's a look at today but tomorrow Nashville you're still right in the thick of the green and that means more rain and even down here towards Dallas we're expecting rain tomorrow but it'll be much cooler tomorrow in Dallas Reynolds back to you thank you Vivian so much folks if you're curious what things look like in a place that's about to be affected by the planet's biggest storm we'll take a look at these images this is what we have for you in Okinawa Japan you see the pounding surf that's coming up it's hitting the coral more where that came from. That is a tumultuous Pacific Ocean. It's been bearing plenty of these storms, and this one, as it comes cruising, is going to bring stronger wave action. It's going to, as uh, as we heard earlier from Brian Norcross, possibly weaken us a little bit as it comes closer to the island, but still, uh, it is certainly a tempest. It's going to bring the wave action, some strong wind, some heavy rainfall, could see flooding on the island, and it's something that we're going to be seeing for the next 48 hours. Another shot that we have for you. This one shows you a little bit of the tidal beds, and off of the distance, you see some white caps that are flowing in. Beyond that, in the horizon, gray skies that will only become darker as the system intensifies and comes closer. Here's a shot that we have for you. This is from Cape Hedo or Hito from Okinawa. James Reynolds sent this one in. He's a professional. Uh, Chase your mind the way. By the way, he's uh, getting some of these shots in. Very compelling at this point. We're going to have more as the story can unfolds. We'll bring it to you. Well, you're up to date on what's happening in the Pacific and also today's threat. But let's talk about what's going to happen early next week, where we might be dealing with a major severe weather threat that could hit anywhere from Texas to Michigan. Here's a shot that we have right now. I believe this is in Dallas, Texas. It looks pretty good for the time being, but let me tell you, we could see some crazy times in parts of the plains and moving into the Ohio Valley. That's coming up. Sit tight. What are you doing? The dishes are clean. Just got to scrape the rest of the food off them. Ew. How is that clean? Uh... Dish issues? Quiet them with Cascade Platinum. It powers through your toughest messes better than the competition. The first time. Clean. <laughs> Stop it. Cascade. Now that's clean. Smile. No matter how well you provide for your family today, if you don't have life insurance, their future may be at risk. Think about what would happen if you were gone. Would they struggle to pay the bills? and face an uncertain future? They don't have to. You can help guarantee those you love $200,000, $500,000, dollars or more with life insurance through AIG Direct. We'll help you get more for your money, up to 70% more. Just look, less than $14 a month buys a 40-year-old man a $250,000 term life policy. That's up to three times what you can get from other companies for the same price. No wonder millions of people rely on AIG companies. The call is free, the quote is free, and there's no obligation. Make the future more secure for those you love. Call now so you can sleep better at night. For a free quote, call 1-800-521-0331 or visit AIGdirect.com. It's just freaking me out. If you miss this Sunday night on the Weather Channel... This is crazy. You'll never know how twisted weather can be. Is it real? Yeah, that's real. Wicked Weather Sundays with Strangest Weather on Earth and American Super Natural. Every Sunday night at 9, only on the Weather Channel.
currently in our area, 84 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, plenty of sunshine. High 84, winds east-northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, low 77. Winds east-northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Join hosts Eva Longoria and Mario Lopez for the NCLR American Latino Media Arts Awards. Tonight at 10 on MSNBC. Let's take these piggies out for new carpet. No, not those, these. Let's get in touch with texture, something with a twist. Let's look at loops and get a feel for patterns in all sorts of colors, but let's not break the bank. Then let's get it rolled out right. The perfect carpet, yeah, let's bring it all the way home. Let's do this, more saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Right now, save 10% on carpet with your Home Depot credit card. Don't let a severe cold hold you back. Sir? Theraflu starts to get to work in your body in just five minutes. Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu, serious power. America. You know, before the break, we told you a severe weather threat could be popping up from Texas all the way to Michigan. Dallas, you're going to be up first to deal with the storms, and we've got Torcons in effect, not for Saturday, but for Sunday night. But we have a live image for you out of Indianapolis where you might be dealing with some of the rough stuff, too. Let's go ahead and track it right now. So in terms of the severe weather, it's going to be due from the moisture that's coming in from the Gulf of Mexico, the cooler air that's streaming in from the north, and where it comes together, we have the dividing line, that frontal boundary, and it's going to be on that frontal boundary where we could be dealing with those scattered showers and storms. Now, what I can tell you is we put this into motion, or at least try to put it into motion, we're going to be dealing with the chance of these scattered showers and storms. Jay, there we go, James B., thanks so much. From San Angelo to Oklahoma City and Wichita, even into Dallas, that's your best chance of severe storms. Might be dealing with hail, tornadoes, damaging winds, tornado condition index within 50 miles. We call it the Torcon for short is four out of 10 for most of central Oklahoma, and that may fluctuate. If conditions worsen, we may see that number go up a bit. If it looks like it may calm down a bit, the number will drop too. It's going to correspond. In Oklahoma City for Sunday evening, that's when we can expect the storms to really fire up 58 degrees, then rain showers on Monday. By Monday, we see that action begin to drive into places like Indianapolis. We told you guys, keep the heads up, be ready for that chance. Notice Vivian, scattered showers on Sunday, more of them popping up into Monday, Vivian. All right, thanks, Reynolds. Well, you know what? It is fall season, and gas prices are falling, too, across the country. So that's welcome news, of course, for families as they get ready to hit the road for this holiday weekend. Our own Reagan Manji is live to explain how things are changing. How much are the uh, grass, gra <laughs> gas prices going to drop, Reagan? Get it out Vivian I hear you I know I'm I've been up since I don't even know when but yeah that fall and fall good creative writing over there how much is it going to drop between now and Thanksgiving all of you guys out there Wisconsin and Michigan to everybody 20 cents cheaper you're going to be paying for gas. It's a good thing. Right now, you see a lot of people filling up at the tanks here in Atlanta. This is a very hopping spot. Now, why the, why the drop? Well, it's a couple of things. The Americans, there's a boom in American petroleum production, which is making those oil prices go down. You got the winter uh, blend of the gas, and also you got people not driving as much because it's, you know, going to get cold and what have you. Let's look at another map. We got a map of a gas buddy. What does that mean? Basically, you see all those colors. Red means you're going to be paying a lot in the middle, central part of the country. 
trade down to the southeast down over here, you're not going to be paying as much right now. But those prices are going to continue to drop. So Missouri started the trend with below $3, and you can see other states following suit. Back to you guys. I believe down the road. Ah, oh, very good, very good, Reagan. Well, I tell you what, it is good to know that the gas prices are going down instead of up. Okay, back to you, Reynolds. All right, thanks so much, Vivian. You know, in addition to all the thousands of U.S. military personnel stationed in Japan, there are also thousands of family members. Earlier, we spoke with C.J. French, her husband, is stationed on Okinawa. Um, as as a dependent wife, uh, the commu the military community has done a great job of it. They have a Facebook page that they've been keeping updated. Um, Luckily, since we are some of the few people that do have electricity still on the space, um, we've been able to keep in contact with what's been going on. Uh, we do know that there is an entire section of housing that uh, hasn't had power for about three hours, three to four hours so far. Um, right now, I'm actually standing at my back window, and it's interesting. All the trees are kind of bent over to the side. When, when the bands come through, you can hear the door whistle and... The, um, the windows start to just kind of howl a little bit. The pressure is pretty intense. That video was taken about, it was about 3 o'clock uh, our time in the afternoon. We had just gone into T-Core 3. T-Core 3 is saying that the storm is coming um, and to start securing things around the yard. So it was one of the last chances I had to actually leave the base. And that area where I took that video is actually protected by condos up and down that seawall. And you could still see in that video the rain bands and the wind bands that are just dancing across the water. Uh, we, have a, we have a shop back down here by the uh, downstairs um, back door. It's here in your floor's crevices that vacuums leave microscopic allergens like these pollens and mold spores. But the Dyson DC65 uses a self-adjusting cleaner head for improved suction on hard floors and deep cleaning on carpets. While powerful cyclone technology captures even microscopic dirt and safely locks it all in here. DC65 sucks up more dust, dirt, and allergens than any other vacuum across carpets and hard floors. Are you sure we should take this billboard down? People find out State Farm does car loans as well as they do insurance. Our bank is through. Good point. Grab an edge. Look, there's two guys on the State Farm Borrow Better banking sign. No, for real, there's two dudes on the State Farm Borrow Better banking sign. Breaking news from the State Farm Borrow Better banking sign. Seeing two men that have climbed the Borrow Better banking sign. Gentlemen, please get down from the State Farm Borrow Better banking sign. Bill, get the hose. Okay, he's getting the hose. All right, let's go. Talk to a State Farm agent about car loans that can save you hundreds. That's borrowing better. That disease is for older people. Not me. I take good care of myself. I'm active. I never saw it coming. It hit me like a ton of bricks. Pneumococcal pneumonia was horrible. The fatigue, the chest pains, difficulty breathing. It put me in the hospital. You don't want to go through what I did. If you're over 50, talk to your doctor. You may be able to prevent it. So, you're saying you'll give me my credit score for free? Right. Now you're going to ask for my credit card so you can charge me on the down low two weeks later. Look, Credit Karma. Are you talking to websites again? This website says free credit scores. Oh, Credit Karma. Yeah, it's really free. Look, you don't even have to put in your credit card information. What? <sighs> credit Karma. Really free credit scores. Really free. Credit Karma, I love you. Everyone could use a little relationship help. And in this new series, Spike Ferriston introduces deserving suitors to three available autos and helps them buy the car of their dreams. My husband worked at a power plant where the asbestos fell like snow. My dad got uh, mesothelioma from asbestos. Oh, the diagnosis was devastating. We chose Cooney and Conway because they're highly experienced in this area. They were more than lawyers. They were human beings. There was no money up front. It showed my sons that there is justice in the world. Call 1-800-322-5573. Cooney and Conway. Justice with a passion. Every Sunday, it's a season of new challenges. This family cannot function without you. What if this doesn't work? Then we lose everything. Plus, Dina returns. I'm away with animals. Busted ones. <laughs> The Real Housewives of New Jersey, all new every Sunday at 8, 7 central. Only by Bravo. 
Brought to you locally by Cirque du Soleil's Amaluna. Opening December 11th under the Big Top next to Sun Life Stadium. Tickets on sale now. Two. For reservations and to save up to $400 per person, contact your travel professional. Call today, 800-297-1372. The wildest weather ever caught on camera. Oh my God. Tonight, tomorrow night, every weeknight, wild weather at 8 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 87 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, plenty of sunshine. High 84, winds east-northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, low 77. Winds east-northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. to Weather Center Live. You see the bug on the left-hand side of the screen. You see the location of the top right, Cape Hedo in, in Okinawa and James Reynolds. Then you see three people. What are they doing there, Viv? They are taking pictures, actually, yes, of all the huge impacts that's from Fong Fong. That is Typhoon Fong Fong. It's packing winds of 130 miles per hour, and it's not too far, well, hundreds of miles away from Japan, but nonetheless headed for the island nation. Scary times there, no doubt mm -hmm. about it. It's a place where we've got thousands of, of a lot of Americans that are there. A yeah. lot of servicemen and their families are keeping a sharp eye on it for you folks. And we want to remind everyone that, of course, you have to be a professional. Those are there storm chasers out there uh, getting those images for us. Most definitely. Okay. Most definitely. Well, let's bring in the man of the hour, Dr. Greg Postel, to tell us more about Typhoon Fong Fong. Yeah, and we're also going to talk about storms around the world, Viv, because it's not just Vong Fong in the West Pacific. We have tropical cyclones kind of galore out there. This is in the Bay of Bengal in the northern Indian Ocean. 85 mile per hour tropical cyclone, and uh, this thing is going to be moving into India over the next 24 to 48 hours and very likely bring some, of course, heavy rains and some strong gusty winds. So storm surge also might be a problem. So this will be a very hazardous time, I think, for residents there um, in this part of the world. And the good news is, is that once it moves inland, it's going to weaken. But still, this is another landfall from another tropical system that we don't need. Here in the Atlantic side, the tropics have also awoke Right? I mean, we've got now subtropical depression seven out here. That's a, just another fancy word for a system that not quite tropical, not quite good enough to be on the tropical team, but uh, still has some winds, maybe 35 and some thunderstorms with it. But this one right here, Invest 90L, has a shot at becoming a tropical depression or a tropical storm as it moves on off toward the west-northwest, kind of getting close to the uh, Caribbean islands. Look, this is the direction it's going to go. You can see the arrows kind of pointed in that way. So, for example, interest in the Bahamas and maybe even in the Lesser Antilles. Pay attention to this one because even though this number is 20% now, I think that number is going to come up. Stay tuned for all that. Vivian, back to you. All right, we'll be watching that number closely. Thanks very much, Dr. Postel. It is time now for a look at the view from above. And check out this space vine that astronaut Reed Wiseman posted just yesterday. He tweeted out, turns out a sphere of floating water makes the ultimate fisheye lens. You know, Reed always <laughs> sends us great photos uh, out of the uh, International Space Station. Look at him there. Great stuff, Reed. Thanks very much. In fact, next Monday on Wake Up With Al, we'll be talking with Reed about his six-month mission on board the International Space Station. You know, earlier this week, we had the total lunar eclipse, but in two weeks, the sun will get its turn. On October 23rd, there will be a partial solar eclipse. The Northwest, Canada, and Alaska will have the best view of the event. As for the rest of the country, well, we'll see it, but it will appear less covered. 
by the moon. And that is a look from above. Now here's Reynolds. All right, to give you an idea of what to expect on the ground level, at least in terms of the universe of college football, we're going to get right to it and show you your forecast. We're going to begin first in Mississippi, Starkville. Starkville, Mississippi, to be more specific. My Auburn Tigers, number two in the country, taking on the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Cloudy skies expected and a lot of great football. This is going to be one for the record books. It's an amazing game we can expect today. We make our way back up towards the great state of Mizzou and Missouri, and the Show Me State is going to be showing us also some good football. The number 13 Georgia Bulldogs tying it up against the Missouri Tigers. Mizzou, number 23 in the country. Sun and clouds, wind out of the northeast at 10 miles an hour. Some places the weather is not going to be so great. In fact, we're going to make our way down towards parts of the Houston area. As we zoom in on this location, take a look or towards College Station north of Houston. We've got a chance of some scattered showers here and there. A few clouds by the time it's over, and it's going to be Ole Miss and Texas A&M. Vivian? All right, those games are for Saturday, but you know what? It's Friday, and you know what that means. Friday night lightning. Uh, West Branch football is pure Americana. That's the way it's supposed to be, and we play it that way. We have discipline, but we have tradition, and we love one another. Pure Americana will go to an Iowa town so steeped in tradition, they consider their football field the real field of dreams. Meanwhile, Typhoon Fong Fong races toward Japan. We'll have the latest on it and when it's expected to make a landfall. Our team of experts, Brian Norcross, Michael Lowry, and Dr. Greg Postel will join us in an in-depth discussion on this typhoon. You don't want to miss it. We'll be View from Above, brought to you by Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Explore more at tourksc.com. What do astronauts eat? Have lunch with one and find out. Only at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Meet real astronauts, see Space Shuttle Atlantis, and experience firsthand the future of America's space exploration. Today we're getting record snowfall. Radars indicate there's been flooding throughout the area. We're getting hail the size of golf balls. Maglite. Turn your light on, America. Be prepared for weather-related emergencies. Maglite flashlights. Turn your light on, America. This is Phyllis. Phyllis is headed to a science conference, so she's not thinking about tires right now. But if she were, all she'd need to know is TireRack.com. She could view the complete selection of Continental tires at TireRack.com. Then she'd have the confidence to drive safely in any weather. But Phyllis isn't thinking about tires. Phyllis is thinking, uh, well, I'm not really sure, but it's probably important. TireRack.com. Find. Deliver. Install. This is our new turkey cranberry flatbread before we craft it into a sandwich. The amazingly tender roasted turkey, always raised without antibiotics. The zesty cranberry mustarda. The freshly baked flatbread. But here's what you don't always see. The care and attention that goes into it. Because what matters most is the simple, delicious ingredients that make up the whole delicious meal made just for you. And this is our turkey cranberry flatbread sandwich paired perfectly with our autumn squash soup. Only at Panera Bread. Cool down with an iced coffee from Panera Bread. Discover Brookside and discover an exciting combination of taste. Rich dark chocolate covering soft centers, flavored with exotic fruit juices. It's chocolate and fruit flavors like you've never experienced before. Discover Brookside. Okay, Sue, here's your card. Thank you. And your bill. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Don't worry, your insurance should cover a lot of it. I'm glad I got it. I almost didn't. Bye-bye. <laughs> Don't let the high cost of dental work catch you off guard. Whether you're retired or just looking for something new, be ready with dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. For about a dollar a day, we pay for over 300 covered procedures, including cleanings, fillings, crowns, even dentures. We cover preventive care from day one with no deductible. And that's great because even a checkup can cost over $100. Plus, with Physicians Mutual, there are no networks, so you can keep the dentist you know and trust. Call today to get this free information kit with all the details. You'll see why this is our fastest growing coverage. So don't wait. Get the protection you need before you need it. Call now. 
2014 Alma Awards, a night to recognize the brightest Latino stars. The opportunity to celebrate our heritage and our achievements. And their contributions to the Hispanic community. Join hosts Eva Longoria and Mario Lopez for the NCLR American Latino Media Arts Awards. Tonight at 10 on MSNBC. Currently in our area, 87 degrees, under mostly cloudy skies. Today, plenty of sunshine. High 84, winds east-northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, low 77. Winds east-northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Eva Longoria and Mario Lopez for the NCLR American Latino Media Arts Awards. Tonight at 10 on MSNBC. Welcome back. Typhoon Fong Fong is beginning to impact Japan. Power outages on Kadena, the U.S. air base, where tens of thousands of Americans are stationed. In just a moment, we're going to have our experts breaking down everything you need to know about this storm's threat. But first, storm chaser James Reynolds followed the path of Vong Vong all the way to Guam. He's now in Okinawa in the city of Naha, and he's already seeing the effects of the typhoon. I took quite a long uh, route to get to Okinawa. I was originally in Guam uh, two days ago trying to uh, film uh, Typhoon Vong Fong as it passed through the Marianas Islands. And then I really had to uh, race uh, to Okinawa as, as quickly as possible to try and catch it a second time. And that was via Hong Kong, to, uh, which is where I'm based, to basically charge all my batteries, change, change all my clothes, and then get to Okinawa to try and catch the storm a second time. I ventured up to the extreme north northern coast of Okinawa today. It's a very rocky uh, area, very uh, large cliffs up there. Uh, and we really had very, very strong winds ripping uh, off the Pacific Ocean and these big waves crashing into the cliffs, a lot of spray flying through the air. And what struck me as being really surprising was, we, you know, we're still over 24 hours away from this storm potentially making landfall. So to see these uh, strong waves and uh, strong winds and, and, and huge waves so uh, early, uh, uh, it was really quite a surprise to me. I haven't seen uh, directly any power outages myself, but as I was driving uh, back to Naha, which is the most populated city on Okinawa after dark, I could see uh, at least two power flashes, which suggests that the, the winds are strong enough now to uh, start causing damage to the power infrastructure. From the local observations I've seen from the Japanese uh, meteorological agency, uh, Naha Airport has uh, seen gusts already over hurricane force uh, and sustained at uh, around 45 miles an hour. So uh, I'm really, again, uh, we're over 24 hours from a possible landfall of the storm. So to, to see winds gusting over hurricane force is really quite remarkable. The infrastructure here, the locals are very used to typhoons. This area gets hit uh, repeatedly every year. Uh, but I've seen uh, certainly gas stations have been uh, securing their awnings and, and uh, making sure that they're keeping their assets safe before the storm hits. Uh, and people, uh, you know, stocking up on supplies, uh, uh, you know, food and water and those kind of things uh, before the storm hits, you know, because it could be uh, it could be in for a very long uh, and rough ride with this storm, given how slowly it's moving right now. Really, what's been so surprising for me, having been through many typhoons, is really how large the wind field of this typhoon is. Uh, I can't remember ever seeing winds so strong uh, over 24 hours prior to a typhoon making landfall as I saw today. Uh, so it really suggests that Okinawa is going to be in for a long and rough ride over the next uh, 48 hours.
So big waves already coming on shore in Okinawa, but what else can we expect from this typhoon, Fong Fong, as it gets closer to Japan? Reynolds Wolf is with our expert panel with the answers to all of your questions. Reynolds. Thanks, Viv. Let's talk about that expert panel for a moment. They're an all-star team. I mean, come on, you got Brian Norcross, you've got Mike Lowry, you've got Greg Postel. Uh, Brian, if we can, let's let's speak with you first about just the, the, the size and duration of this system. Yeah, James Reynolds said it. This is a much much bigger and slower system than we're used to here. We thought that people that went through Sandy or other hurricanes thought oh, it just lasted forever. That was nothing compared to what's going to happen there because the wind is going to blow. Look at the satellite picture there and you can see the size of the circulation. Now what happened is one of those bands, those outer bands went through, made the winds gust up to over hurricane force. Now they've actually come down and they're in the 30, 40, 50 mile an hour range mm -hmm. there now. But uh, if we go back to the satellite, you're going to see when we put the wind streams on there, how monstrous this circulation is. Now, watch as it, uh, look at that there. See, that it's dominating that entire part of the okay. world. So, it's about 300 miles across the area where uh, hurricane force gusts will occur. That's the, the prediction. Top winds now near the center, about 130 miles per hour. It's going to slowly weaken, but still, the, the peak of this looks like it's going to be tomorrow morning uh, U.S. time as the, the center comes comes the closest that's going to come to Okinawa, and it may go right over the island. It's uh, it's uh, hard to say, but in any case, this tremendously long duration of very strong winds. Now, now you mentioned weakening. Now, e even if this were to, to weaken a little bit, Mike Lowry, we want to bring you in for a moment. In terms of, of flooding, in terms of storm surge, what, what do you think we're going to get out of this? Well, look, here in the United States, we're used to the coastal flooding, the primary coastal flooding being from storm surge. Not so much the case out there in the Western Pacific, and the reason for that is that the uh, coast there is rocky. It's a lot rockier than it is here in the United States. And so the uh, ocean floor comes up very, very quickly. That produces those very tall, very high waves. But Reynolds, a good part of that is that it generally doesn't cause the type of flooding that you would expect from a very uh, high or very strong storm surge. So really, I mean, they get waves there all the time. This is something that, look, don't you don't want to be near the coast, but uh, otherwise we're not expecting tremendous or extensive coastal flooding. Now, uh, well, that, well, this is such a, such a big threat. This is such a big system. And we've tackled those two things but when it comes to winds, let's bring in Dr. Postel. What are you thinking with this? Despite the possible weakening of this, yeah. is it still going to pose a big threat to a lot of people? Yeah, I mean, the remnants of Vong Fong are going to live on long past uh, its passage over Okinawa. And the question is, is it going to have impacts globally thereafter? You know, sometimes tropical cyclones in the West Pacific, they can move northward into the jet stream, get picked up by the jet stream, and make it do some weird things down the road a couple days thereafter. So here's a satellite picture right now of where Vong Fong is. And you can see a pattern of high clouds. See that those white streamers moving kind of east northeastward away from Vong Fong. That's already the outflow from at high altitudes, about 30,000 feet, maybe higher, streaming away from Vong Fong, getting caught up in the jet stream. And you know where it's going from there. It's going toward North America. So what, what it's doing right now, you can actually see it from front of your eyes. It's strengthening the jet stream. And sometimes Sometimes those strengths, uh, those enhancements in the jet stream can lead to some really weird patterns over North America. And we're seeing some of that now, and the question is, is what Vong Fong is doing now and in its interaction with the jet stream going to be impacting our weather, not just now, but perhaps over the next couple of days and maybe be involved with some severe weather in the United States? Well, that kind of a connection, you can't make that one-to-one -one correlation. There's probably some role. But we'll just have to wait and see. And probably some studies after the fact will determine exactly how much of a role it did have. Brian, I have to ask you, how unusual is the season in the Pacific we're seeing? Uh, not tremendously uh, mm -hmm. unusual. The fact that we've had two typhoons follow one another is a little bit unusual, but it happens with hurricanes. Mm -hmm. It happens with typhoons. And by the way, you, you can see there, this is the, the number of, of storms. You can see it frequently happens on the island, as James Reynolds said. They really are ready for strong winds there, the way everything is built. They have really bunkers that everybody goes into. So you wouldn't expect a, a lot of loss of life, but you can't have winds of this duration, of this strength, over 100 miles an hour, probably at least up into the category three range for an extended period of time without having damage. You just, you just can't have that.
My goodness. Well, the, the island is a fortress, and it's certainly going to be tested over the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. 48 hours, oh, yeah. My Rails, goodness. this is a place, uh, 2012, they had three typhoons mm -hmm. that impacted them. So, right. like Brian was saying, uh, this is a bad one, and, and hopefully it stays away, uh, or at least it doesn't come as close as some of our computer models are showing, but it's not that unusual. Yeah. I say. I'd say if, say if, if you're interested. If any place is ready, this is it. Yeah, yeah right. I'd <laughs> say if you're interested in studying tropical cyclones, maybe that's a great home base for you. <laughs> yeah. All right. right. Gentlemen, I can't uh, thank you enough for your time, and of course, I'm sure we're going to meet back with you through the afternoon and, and possibly uh, through uh, possibly part of next week. Again, uh, Vivian, let's send it right back to you. All right, thanks guys. What an interesting discussion and that kind of stuff you can only get right here on the Weather Channel. Meanwhile, one high school football team claims a victory over Mother Nature. Coming up, this week's Friday Night Lightning tells us how the weather almost crushed the championship dreams. We'll be back. Currently in our area, 87 degrees, under mostly cloudy skies. This afternoon, mostly sunny, high 84, winds east-northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, some clouds, low 77. Winds east-northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Energizer Ultimate Lithium, the world's longest lasting AA battery and high tech devices. Up to six times longer than the other leading brand. Started my Camry, went to the auction, won a storage locker, found an old guitar. Tracked down the previous owner. Reunited them. Hit the jackpot. The bold new Camry. One bold choice leads to another. Toyota, let's go places. Andrew. Rita. Sandy. Meet Chris. Jackie. Joe. Minor damage or major disaster. When you need us most, we're there. State Farm. We're a force of nature, too. Sir, we're going to need you on the runway. Theraflu starts to get to work in your body in just five minutes. Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu, serious power. Let's take these piggies out for new carpet. No, not those. These. Let's get in touch with texture. Something with a twist. Let's look at loops and get a feel for patterns in all sorts of colors. But let's not break the bank. Then let's get it rolled out right. The perfect carpet? Yeah. Let's bring it all the way home. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Right now, save 10% on carpet with your Home Depot credit card. Jim's hair is perfect. So is his serve. But like up to 90% of us, Jim falls short in getting important nutrients from food alone. Jim, here's $2 off one-a-day multivitamins to get key nutrients you may need. Go to oneaday.com for savings. Hey, I noticed your car's not in the driveway. Yeah, it's in the shop. It's going to cost me an arm and a leg. That's hilarious. Sorry. Should have taken it to Midas. Get some of that Midas touch. They'll tell you what stuff needs fixing and what stuff can wait. All right. Next time, going to Midas. High five. Ah! Did not see that coming. Get the Midas Touch maintenance package, including an oil change, for only $24.99. And here's the deal. Use your Midas credit card and get a rebate of $25. Oil, tires, brakes, everything. Trust the Midas Touch. 
For over a decade, doctors have been prescribing Nexium to patients just like you. For many, prescription Nexium helps heal acid-related erosions in the lining of the esophagus. There is risk of bone fracture and low magnesium levels. Side effects may include headache, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. If you have persistent diarrhea, contact your doctor right away. Other serious stomach conditions may exist. Avoid if you take clopidogrel. Nexium 40 milligram is only available by prescription. Talk to your doctor. For free home delivery, enroll in Nexium Direct today. This is Joe Wood's first day of work, and his new boss told him two things. Cook what you love and save your money. Joe doesn't know it yet, but he'll work his way up from busser to waiter to chef before opening a restaurant specializing in fish and game from the great Northwest. He'll start investing early. He'll find some good people to help guide him, and he'll set money aside from his first day of work to his last, which isn't rocket science. It's just common sense from TD Ameritrade. It brings generations of Americans together, connecting us to our community as no other tradition can. When the stadium lights go on, Main Street shuts down. It's more than high school football. Your team, your town, your forecast. 12 towns in 12 weeks. It's time for Friday Night Lightning. West Branch, Iowa. It's a town of just over 200, 20, well, actually 2,300 people. It seems a lot bigger, though. And it's the birthplace of President Herbert Hoover. It's also a community that loves its high school football. And you'll find there a program that is steeped in tradition. Here's Jim Cantori. On Friday nights, when the sun goes down and storm clouds roll in, weather and football collide. As teams battle each other and Mother Nature. But from adversity comes heroes, like the Bears of West Branch, Iowa. During this 1989 playoff game in conditions so miserable, so cold, it even iced over the camera lens, the Bears overcame rival Montezuma and the weather to keep their fabled run to a state championship alive. And once we got close, we knew, you know, we weren't gonna let that out of our grasp. And so goes the story of West Branch, a hidden gem surrounded by Iowa's vast cornfields with a tough, gritty football tradition that mirrors this small farming community. I just think it's the tradition that we've had and they don't want to let anybody down. A proud town with three claims to fame, the birthplace and burial site of President Herbert Hoover. Bears football for more than a century. and Iowa's real field of dreams. It's like there's nothing else in town but this field. The simple yet almost sacred field in the heart of West Branch is fondly called the Little Rose Bowl, a natural gridiron amphitheater that residents dredged out in the early 1900s. This field has been special forever and ever. It kind of makes a close-knit uh, community of a small town. And even when a new stadium was built on the school's campus, residents fought to keep the Bears right here on Friday nights. West Branch football is pure Americana. And so is one of its most treasured traditions, the walk. When leading up to home games, cheerleaders and the team march hand in hand down Oliphant Street to the field. When you hear those cleats coming down the street, if that doesn't get to you, you probably don't belong here. You probably should go somewhere else. The community lined up on either side to watch. It's a rush of pride because you know they are looking at you as being the pride of the town. It never gets old. An experience that lasts a lifetime. Really, it takes a few years to really step back and grasp and understand what exactly it is that you've been a part of. When I'll be an adult um, is when it really kicked in and really realized how lucky I was to be a part of this school and everything. The Bears and West Branch, resilient when challenged by the weather and even change. One, two, three, seven, eight. Forever bonded by the lights of Friday night. Oh, that is spectacular. Let me tell you, the weather ought to be spectacular for the most part. Mostly cloudy skies and 55 degrees for the West Branch High School Bears and the Wapello High School Indians. What a matchup. All right, Vivian, let's send it over to you. <laughs> okay, the Bears and the Indians. I'll tell you what, let's check on the weekend for you, shall we? Let's begin with New York and L.A. Okay, sunny in both cities, right? But where is it warmer? Well, believe it or not, well... 
It's not hard to believe. It's warmer in LA. It's 72 degrees right now. It is 61 in the New York City area, but again, lots of sunshine we're finding in the Northeast today, but that won't be the case tomorrow. There is a chance that the rain will push into New York, even Hartford and Boston, all of the other big cities over the Northeast, including Philadelphia, Pittsburgh. Maybe you'll squeeze out uh, a lot of uh, a fair amount of sunshine. At least the rain will be off to your east, we're thinking, and back into the Great Lakes will find dry conditions. But notice how the rain will push across parts of the Mid-South, too, in the Tennessee Valley. Some light rain in the Pacific Northwest tomorrow in Seattle, but it'll clear out on Sunday. Sunday, your better day in the Seattle area. Still looking good in L.A. and San Francisco and actually improving on Sunday over the Northeast. Reynolds, back to you. Okay, Vivian, thanks so much. Well, two major storms are threatening millions of people in the Indian and Pacific Oceans, including a U.S. military base. Up next, we're going to show you how massive these storms are looking and when and where we can expect them to hit. Plus, got some great images to share with you. That's coming up in just a few moments. Sit tight. It's raining. Americans drink over 13 billion gallons of sugary beverages every year. Overconsumption may link to obesity and heart disease. It's an epidemic, but we can help change it with a better choice. Drink more water, filtered by Brita. Clean, refreshing Brita water. Nothing is better. Now enjoy Brita filtered water anywhere with on-the-go bottles. My feet felt so heavy at the end of the day. They used to get really tired. Until I started gelling. I got Dr. Scholl's Massaging Gel Insoles. When they're in my shoes, my feet and legs feel less tired. It's like walking on a wave. Dr. Scholl's Massaging Gel Insoles. I'm a believer. Sunday nights. Channel unravels nature's darkest secrets. I saw something. I don't know how to explain it. Every Sunday. It's a story that's got a life of its own. A new tale of weather legend. It may have just looked like a storm, but they were dealing with something far worse. American Supernatural. Sunday nights at 10 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 87 degrees, under mostly cloudy skies. This afternoon, mostly sunny. High 84, winds east-northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, some clouds, low 77. Winds east-northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. Whoa. Nobody insures more bikes than Progressive. Do you guys ride? Well, no. Sometimes. Yes. Yeah. Well, if you know anybody else who also rides, send them here. We got great coverage. It's not like bikers love their bikes more than life itself. <laughs> I doubt anyone will even notice. Leading the pack in motorcycle insurance. Now that's progressive. Call or click today. <laughs> Discover card, how can I help you? Oh, you're real? You know I'm real. At Discover, we're always here to talk. Good, because I don't have time for machines. Some companies just don't appreciate the power of conversation. You know I like you. I like you too. At Discover, we treat you like you treat you. Get the it card and talk to a real person. So I was a head chef at 24. I won best new restaurant in the country at 31. I've published cookbooks. I've been on TV. I've relied on people every step of the way. I still do. I have to. So staying connected to those people, that's what makes me feel accomplished. They're people I connect with, that I'd sit at a table with. These are the people that I ride with every day. This man has an accomplished research and analytical group at his disposal. 
But even more impressive is how he puts it to work for his clients. Morning. Morning. Thanks right. for meeting so early. Oh, that's not a big deal at all. Come on in. It's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. Don't let back pain limit your life. I'm Erlene Mandrell, the Mandrell Sisters, and I'd like to share a solution with you. Get the DDS 500 with no out-of-pocket cost to you with Medicare and other major insurances. The only patented back support that provides adjustable traction. The DDS 500 adjusts to your comfort level and... I'm calling in regards about my mother, and I'm here, and I just want to thank you because it saved my mother's life yesterday. Um, and I'd like to know the names of the people that came in and saved her so I could call and thank them. And she's doing fine. It's a wonderful thing. Thank you. When you fall and cannot get up, an accident can turn into a tragedy. But with Life Alert, one touch of a button can get you help fast. Life Alert saves a person from a catastrophe every 10 minutes. Life Alert is a lifesaver. If it weren't for Life Alert, I wouldn't be sitting here today. For a free Life Alert brochure, call 1-800-393-5304. That's 1-800-393-5304. Call now, 1-800-393-5304. For a free brochure, call 1-800-393-5304. Save over 50% with five screenings for $149. Call now at 800-393-7147. 7 a.m. on AMHQ. Let's get you in front of today's weather. The biggest weather hour anywhere. What a gorgeous start. Weekday mornings on the Weather Channel. Well, take a look at this. We're seeing the early effects of a monster storm headed for Japan. This is Typhoon Wenfang, and you can see the palm trees that are rocking in the winds as the winds begin to intensify. Those things may be bending over by the time the storm makes landfall because we're expecting 120 mile per hour winds and also at the same time, Vivian, plenty of rainfall. All right. Well, welcome back. It is now 50 past the hour. Time for the tropical update. And it is plenty to update. We've got all kinds of things going on. Dr. Greg Postel is in the lab. So, Greg, uh, what are we catching up with? Vong Fong is uh, closing in on Okinawa in the uh, southern island ch j chain of the Japan Island chain prefecture, Okinawa prefecture. Bottom line is, is uh, Okinawa is home to Kadena Air Force Base, which uh, has 35,000 U.S. men and women, servicemen and women from the uh, Air Forces and M Marine and Army and everybody. So basically, we have a lot of uh, servicemen and women out here that are at risk for seeing tropical cyclone uh, conditions here very soon. This thing is moving toward the north at 9, and it's going to get really bad across the region. There is Vong Fong, and there's where the center of circulation is, right in there. And you know what? The winds are picking up now at the Air Force Base, Kadena Air Force Base, sustained at 55, gusts to 70. It's only going to get worse from there because the actual really, really bad winds are probably right in there. So we have a long way to go before the worst winds actually get there, believe it or not. That would happen probably sometime tomorrow morning, Eastern time. So you right now on the radar, you can see some rain bands moving their way northwestward, approaching Okinawa and the conditions there, the rain's going to get heavier. The wind is going to get stronger and they've already had power outages and they'll say sustain some damage for sure. But the good news is, I guess that there's a silver lining is that they're pretty well prepared for dealing with tropical cyclones in this part of the world because they have so many of them. I mean, the buildings are strong and uh, a lot of the infrastructure can handle at least close encounters with big typhoons. The question is, this one looks like it's going to be a direct impact. So are they going to be able to handle all of it? We'll see. But I do think the center, the eye, may very well move right over Okinawa tomorrow morning. That would be right in there. That's where all those circles meet. That's where the center of circulation is. And the worst of all the weather is immediately surrounding that. And that, too, will likely brush through Okinawa. Not once, but probably twice, right? Because if the eye goes in, the center goes in, you know you get hurt, hit by the first half and then hit again by the second half of the storm as it moves away. Then it's going to pull off into the uh, North Pacific and bring some big waves with it. Look at some of these wave heights, over 30 feet tonight just offshore. And of course, it's going to bring some heavy rain as well. Look at some of these numbers in Japan. They saw this earlier with Pahan Fong, but uh, now they've got another one coming through. And uh, just one after the other in the West Pacific, guys. And uh, actually, you know what? 
the Atlantic is picking up, showing some signs of tropical life. I'll talk more about that coming up in the next hour. Vivian Reynolds, back to you. It is, it is amazing to see the power of that storm. You know, and yes, speaking of is. amazing things, Vivian, it, it's facing out there. We said off on the Weather Channel, mm -hmm. and right now we'd like to share some amazing weather pictures with you. Well, that's right. In fact, it's time for our top five photos. Number five, this view of Typhoon Fong Fong, the one we've just been talking about. This was taken from the International Space Station. The powerful Typhoon is headed toward Japan right now, and we'll have the latest on this all day right here on the Weather Channel. And next Next up, number four, check out this tornado picture from the bluegrass region of Kentucky. This photo was tweeted out by the National Weather Service in Louisville. Now, there were nine confirmed tornadoes that touched down in the state this week. Most were in the EF1 range with winds that range between 100 and 110 miles per hour. All right, number three, this amazing shot of the northern lights comes to us from Iceland. Very nice, Reynolds. It's gorgeous, <laughs> beautiful stuff. But, you know, so is this. Beautiful sunrise along the Missouri River. This is from North Dakota. Okay. Number one. Oh boy. Well, there you have it. A reminder that winter is right around the corner. This picture from the observatory on top of Mount Washington in Vermont. The ice coating is also known as rime, you know. There Looks you like go. a smiley face. Yeah, look well, happy, happy for the, the cold weather. With a smile on your face, yeah. right? <laughs> hey, don't freeze up on this. Hey, yeah, send us your photos and videos to weather.com slash photos. You can also upload them to weather.com, your weather channel app, that is. That's right, folks. Uh, Kelly Cass and Kyle Grogan, they're up next. Enjoy. Mwah. Have a great weekend. <laughs> Currently in our area, 87 degrees, under mostly cloudy skies. This afternoon, mostly.